Hey, welcome back to the Builder Basement. Uh, just a really quick video here on how to do your heat set inserts. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in what I'm doing here. Say it just about every time I think about it. Uh, so we're gonna do this real quick. Gonna be a quick, probably three minute video. Uh, so if you're looking on how to do your heat set inserts, I'm going to show you how I do them. Uh, it's worked out pretty well for me. And as I'm going through it, I'll give you a couple tips. First things first, I like to sit down when I'm doing them. So um, I guess you could do them standing up depending on the height of your bench. But you want to be, um, you don't need to be at eye level width, your part that you're inserting uh, the heat sets. But <clears throat> you do want to be in a position that you can tell that you're vertical and that you don't have any slop left, right, uh, forward or backwards. <clears throat> you want these to be as straight in as possible. There are different sizes. You want to make sure your holes uh, are proper to the size that you're installing. Uh, the best way to tell that, uh, well, one, to properly size them uh, based on uh, what some instructions say or, or what, uh, what size cert they actually are. Um, <clears throat> but two, um, a decent uh, heat set should, um, should kind of ride in there. Um, they're only grooved so far. Well, let me see if I can get in on that. Come on. All right, so there are, I don't know if I can pick that up. It's difficult. Anyways, uh, they're only grooved so far, so there is a uh, kind of a chamfered uh, surface on the bottom that allows you to kind of put them in real quick like that. Um, <clears throat> I suggest you have them in the part ready to go. It's nice to be able to hit these all at the same time. <clears throat> but once you're ready to go, uh, basically you want a soldering iron. Uh, I suggest you keep it at about, give or take, 10% lower than the temperature that you would print with on a 3D printer. Um, so specifically, this is ABS. And for around 220, 230, uh, I have this set to 200. Uh, so it's about 10% lower than what I print with. Uh, and then this is basically what you should start seeing. Again, you want to be vertical up and down. Uh, you don't want to have any slop order backwards or left or right. You want to put your center right in there. And you want to pro provide constant, but not too much pressure. And you want that to basically sit just below the surface. Come back, put your finger across it. You should feel a little bit of heat from it. It should burn you because you shouldn't be touching it because it should be just a little bit below the surface. You do not want it proud of the surface. Um, if you're proud of the surface, your parts will never be where you want them to be. So there you go. Now, quick tip, if you do find that you get one in that is a little caught, um, in one direction or another, you can, if need be, come back, uh, put that soldering tip back on there, um, and try to as quickly as possible, as gently as possible, uh, try to change that direction just a little bit. Obviously, it's not going to work if you have a huge, huge, um, you know, misalignment, but something minor you can pull it back pretty quick. And actually too, if you if you put one of these in and it is proud uh, when you come back to feel it, meaning that it's sticking up slightly, um, you can go ahead and hit that again. I don't suggest you go back and forth too much. Every time you do that, you're, you're reliquifying that ABS and uh, it's going to flow in places you may not want it. So right there are six heat set inserts, um, that's the way I do them. Again, uh, about 10% lower than your actual print temperature with those to get them in. Um, yeah, you could go warmer and get in there quickly, uh, but you're going to liquefy way too much of the plastic. Um, another quick one right here is get yourself a tip and file it down on the end, um, depending on the size of what you're doing. Um, you don't want your end to point too far below the actual heat set insert because uh, you'll wind up uh, heating up the plastic below it and you could have some flow back into the heat set insert meaning your screw won't make it in 
Um, so be careful with that. Just uh, get yourself a tip that you, you know, a spare tip, file it down a little bit, see how it looks on your heat set here, and hopefully it gives without burning my fingers, but let's see here. Kind of show you what that should look like if I can get on there quick. Yeah. So right there. My tip is not stacking out further. It's not protruding. Um, that's going to be very hot, so be careful with that. So, there you go in a nutshell. He said inserts, 10% below the uh, printing temperature on those. Uh, careful on the direction. Try to stay vertical. No left, right, no back or front. Up and down is where you want to be. Um, and uh, basically, if you work multiples at the same time, it will go a lot quicker. Matter of fact, if you have multiple parts that you're doing, get them all ready, slide them across, do them all at once, so we're not heating up an iron, cooling off an iron, keep on going. So, quick video, if you like it, subscribe. If you don't like it, subscribe anyways. Um, hopefully I come up with something that you're gonna like, and I will see you soon.